It's pretty scary out there for all of us. Um, so we're trying to stay positive. And what I've done is just made sure that we reach out to our neighbors. And there are some that have just gotten online because of this crisis. So there have been a few people that um, I've kept in touch with to make sure they're okay getting that up and running. Like other things, like like other Cindy for uh, like other join me here today. Uh, maybe maybe just give the public, the viewers uh, the back the, when the, when the, when the article back when about your history in Kingston and what you do. Yeah, so uh, born and raised in Kingston, and we've been in the retail business downtown for 27 years. Um, with assorted locations, but we currently have Agent 99 and Wit Kingston on Princess Street. And yeah, we're shut down now because of the um, coronavirus, but we hope to make it to the other side and open again at some point. That's where we're at right now, anyway. Yeah, so we're the, so we're doing, doing some pretty amazing things with uh, the guided the guided t-shirts in Kingston. And and so if you can put this out to talk with those. Well, we've, we've always had something on the go in WIT in particular. Whenever I find there's always a season for us to help raise money and also just lift up our community a little bit. Uh, whether it's the food bank or um, RKY camp, we did something with them this past year. Of course, when this came along, we thought, well, we, we know clothing. <laughs> and why not come up with something that helps with the food bank, which definitely needs some help, and Kingston PPE Fund, which was relatively new, but we thought this this is a very uh, spring 2020 uh, charitable organization that we'd like to help out locally. So we created two t-shirt designs, and one of the t-shirts, $5 will go towards the food bank, and the other t-shirts, $5 will go towards the PPE Fund for each one we sell. And we've had some fantastic responses to the t-shirts and um, it's picking up it's definitely picking up so we're out we're out uh, delivering them ourselves through the Kingston area it's been free delivery in Kingston so yeah our, we're doing it ourselves with our family our kids and we're uh, doing porch drop-offs but we're also shipping these a lot of people have ordered them from out of town out of country and uh, a big thanks to Paul Langlois and his family Joanne Langlois and the, and the girls uh, he wore it at his porch concert this past Thursday night and that's created a lot of activity as well. So it's been wonderful. So, so what kind of money have you raised so far? From the, the I don't know yet. Um, I don't know yet. We're, we're still packing and delivering at this point and um, we're still gonna be doing that on Monday. I'd like to come up with a number next week um, to find out because yeah, we, we need to let people know. But right now we're just trying to get these shirts out um, and we'll let people know next week um, what we've, we've raised so far. And, and like I said to people, if you're not into the t-shirts, go directly to those charities. Like just the food bank needs help right now, Kingston PPE, there are other organizations as well. So um, I just recommend that people, if you, if you don't want to do the t-shirts and go directly to those charities, they could use some help right now. Yes, okay. It's interesting at this time uh, that people are really they got to stepping up in Kingston. They're really doing other things that other companies that they don't normally do, like a uh, face mask and, and stuff yeah. like that. So they got yeah. including you with your t-shirts and stuff. You don't really know. Yeah, the, the face mask uh, movement has been really impressive, and I'm seeing a lot of uh, local local sewers or people who have learned to sew to help with the masks. And you know what? When we do reopen, we're all going to need them. So this is this is a great initiative as well. You got the, what kind of have you helped uh, any downtown businesses? And I know you are downtown too. So. Yeah, um, we're it's it's pretty scary out there for all of us. Um, so we're trying to stay positive. And what I've done is just made sure that we reach out to our neighbors. And there are some that have just gotten online because of this crisis. So there have been a few people that um, I've kept in touch with to make sure they're okay getting that up and running. 
and to help them with some of the questions they might have. I think we're also just checking on each other's stores if you if we are in, we're just making sure everything's safe and okay at each location and just communicating, I think offering mental support for each other because this is really scary and we don't uh, we don't want to go out like this. So if we can make it through, I think we can be stronger if we are talking to each other, helping each other and, and hopefully see an opening date for us at some point. And just in, uh, digging in. And finally, uh, I think, uh, how are you doing? I'm like, uh, I got posting with your family or friends or... Well, we have kids and they're doing the online schooling and I, I must say I'm, I'm very pleased with their teachers. They've, they've done a great job of keeping the kids engaged. Uh, it's, it's not easy. This is not necessarily the preferred way of learning, but they've, they've stepped up to help with the kids. The kids have been uh, really helpful just keeping us going and, and helping us out. And personally, um, it's good and bad days. You know, I found the first week the hardest when we had the shutdown and by communicating with our other neighbors and uh, just hoping for the best. We have to, that's all we can do. Um, we'll hopefully be able to open up again at the end of all of this and, and, and push through. It's, it's going to be a hard year. It's not, it's not going to be instantly back to normal. I think we all know this is going to take a long time for us to get back to normal. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to do that. Mm. The guy, do you, uh, is that you? what kind of things have you learned? Uh, yeah. the, guy, the guy is so far into the side of COVID 19, uh, the guy time and stuff. Um, I think I'm still learning. <laughs> I really, I, I find so much of it is just, it's, it's moving slowly. So maybe slowing down and, and taking that time with the family that we normally don't get to do as a small business because small businesses are generally working every single day, which we're still working, but there has been this pause. And again, like I said, the first week, it was just so much fear and anxiety. And I think now that we're into week six, six and a half now, um, it's just trying to get the momentum going and um, staying positive. That's, that's, we have to, we have to. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like, like people, but uh, like people don't know how to order the t-shirts or like how would they go to online? So, uh, Wit Kingston has an online store and it's witkingston.com. And as soon as you get there, that's going to be the first thing you see on our homepage. Uh, we have tons of other things of, obviously from our store and people have been buying other items that we sell, but the t-shirts, as soon as you get to witkingston.com, that's going to be the first thing you see. There are two designs. And if, if you have any questions, there's a messaging option there. And we will, if you're in Kingston, we'll deliver them to you for free. Just be patient for us to, uh, to make our way around Kingston and, and get to you. Good things. I forgot the, uh, yeah, the things that they got this in the time. So. My pleasure. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. You too.